Take a moment. See yourself sitting here. Feet on the floor. And imagine yourself being a tree. We're going to reach down with our roots to grow them through the floor, through the basement, into the soil far below where we're sitting. We'll grow the roots down and down through the soil, around the rocks, around the boulders. And keep on going down until we find that pool of crisp, cool water far beneath the earth. The waters of chaos, waters of potential. We're going to reach our roots into those waters. Then with each and every breath, we're going to slowly bring these waters up into our bodies. So as we breathe, the waters come up into our feet, into our legs. Feel the waters move up into your loins and into your belly as you take your next breath. And keep on breathing and pull them up further into your chest, and into your head. And on your next breath, feel the waters come pouring up out of your head and out of your hands, flowing back into the earth, filling you with these waters from far below, the cool, crisp waters, waters of potential, waters of chaos. Now, let us turn our focus up to the sky. We grow our branches up through the ceilings and up through the roofs. Grow our branches up high into the sky through the clouds until we can find that one star directly above our heads. We're going to reach up to that star. We're going to pull down the fires from above. Again, the fires of potential, fires of order. And bring these fires down through our branches, bring them down and down to our bodies with each and every breath. We bring these fires down and mix them with the waters from below, bring them down into our heads and into our chest. Feel the fires come down into your belly, warming your belly, down into your loins with each and every breath. The fires come down further into your legs and into your feet. Till now you can see yourself glowing, filled with the fires from above and the waters from below, order and chaos, the powers of potential, powers of magic. Take out of these energies all that you need. Fill yourself up, fill your center. Bring yourself back into balance. When you're ready, you push the waters back down into the ground. You'll push the fires back up into the sky. And know that if you ever need to pull on these anymore, you can always reach down. You can always reach up and pull them into you. But for now, push them back to where they came from. Bring your roots and your branches back into your body. Take a deep breath in and out, in and out. And when you're ready, open your eyes, prepared for the ritual. Our first offering is to the Earth Mother, you who surround us, you support us. You feed us. You shelter us. Recently, you've been trying to drown us, but we know that that brings about all this beautiful vegetation that we have all around us. Without you, we would not be able to survive. And so, Earth Mother, we give to you first. Earth Mother, accept our offerings. We are here to honor the gods, the ancestors, and the land spirits. We are here to ask for their blessings in return. But first, let us hallow our hallows. Mighty well, 
you reach deep into the earth, you connect us to the ancestors. To you, we give you the silver. We say sacred waters flow within us. To the mighty fires, we offer you this incense. You burn, you transform, you send it high into the sky. As we offer you this, we say sacred fires grow within us. A mighty tree, your roots run deep into the earth, connecting us to the wells below. And your branches run high into the sky, connecting us to the shining ones above. We give you water, we give you incense, and we say sacred trees grow within us. By the might of the water, the light of the fire, my house and all of our houses, our groves made whole and holy. By the might of the water, and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water, and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. So be it. Now, call to the gatekeepers. To all of you who have aided us in the past, we call to the gatekeepers and ask that you once more aid us. We ask you take our messages far and wide. We ask you bring back what we need to hear. Watch over us as we walk your holy roads. Guard us as we do our work this evening. Show us where we need to go. For all that you do for us, gatekeepers, we request that you do it once more. Gatekeepers, accept our offerings. Now, gatekeepers, I ask you to join your magic with ours in my house and in all of our houses. Let the well open as a gate to the underworlds. Let the fires open as a gate to the upper worlds. Let the tree be the crossroads between all the worlds, open to our spirits and open to our voices. Let the gates be opened. First, we offer to the ancestors. To all of you, of our family, you who came before us, our bloodline, we offer you welcome. To all of you who we have chosen, our friends, our inspiration, our mentors, our chosen family, we offer you welcome. And to all of you in this very earth, you who are here long before us, we offer you welcome. And join us by our fires. Ancestors, accept our offerings. Next, we call to the land spirits. Be you fur and feather, scale and skin, our animal kin, we offer you welcome. Be you leaf and twig, stem and flower, our plant kin. We offer you welcome. And to all of you who are the unseen, the house spirits, the land spirits, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fires. Land spirits, accept our offerings. And we call last to the shining ones, to the gods and gods who spelled their days. You who watch over each and every one of us, our patrons and matrons, we offer you welcome. To all of you of this very earth, you are here before us, we offer you welcome. And to all of you who watch over each and every one of us, known or unknown to us, we offer you welcome. Come, join us by our fires. Shining ones, accept our offerings. At 
this point. If you have any offerings which you wish to make, please feel free to do so. I ask that you watch over all those who are truly repressed. Be it because of where they live, who they are, or laws that were enacted against them. There are no further offerings to be made. Ancient and mighty ones, we have given to you tonight with the request that we receive blessings in return. And we give to you one last time. We say, Kindred, accept our sacrifice. And now we ask the Kindred, what blessings do we receive? The ancestors, they give us one gel. Joy and happiness. The land spirits, give us Yara. The ruin of cycles and harvests. The shining ones. Shining ones give us fehu, cattle, and wealth. In short, don't worry, be happy. Have fun. Enjoy, enjoy this time of the year. Plant, plant your seeds. Get ready for the harvest far in the future. And the harvest will be fruitful. But have fun. I think these omens are good. Do we accept these omens? All right. And ancient and mighty ones, we have given to you. In Gossi tradition, a gift calls for a gift. We ask you to fill our waters in each and every one of our houses. Fill them with the omens we have just heard. Fill them with Wonjo and the joy and happiness of the, that we are to have. Fill them with Yera, the seeds we are to plant for the harvest to come. Fill them with Fehu, the bounty that will come from what we plant today. Fill these waters with these omens. Behold, the waters of life. All right. If there's nothing further to do, let us thank all those who have aided us. Shining ones, be our patrons and matrons, be of this land, or be you unknown to us. For your help this evening and for all you do throughout the days, shining ones, we thank you. Land spirits, be you our animal kin, be you our plant kin, or be you the unseen kin for all you have done for us tonight and all you do for us throughout the days. Land spirits, we thank you. And ancestors, be you our family, be you our chosen family, or be you of this very earth. 
for all you have done for us tonight and all you do for us throughout the days. Ancestors, we thank you. And gatekeepers, you have once more aided us, you have opened the ways, you have brought back these wonderful omens, you have allowed us to work in safety. For that, we cannot thank you enough. For all you have done, we do have to say, gatekeepers, we thank you. We ask that you once more join your magic with ours in my house and in all of our houses. Let the well become but water. The fires become but flame. Let the tree become but a tree once more. Let the gates be closed. last but not least to the earth mother without you we would not be here and we cannot honor you and thank you enough for all that you have brought to us and all you do for us earth mother we thank you and go now children of earth in wisdom and peace for this rite has ended